Hi guys, there is such a battery screwdriver. The battery has broken latches. It looks like this. The latches broke in these places. Disassemble the battery. Before modeling a new part, you need to understand how it works and how it can be simplified. The spring is inserted like this. This detail will have to be adapted for 3D printing. There is no need to make internal cavities. It is enough to make a recess for a flat spring. Let's see how the part was created. The result is a latch like this. I will print from ABS plastic. The item printed out perfectly. Print it on a 3D printer Creality Ender 3. When printing, support was used, which I will now remove. Support separated very easily. The surface quality is good. Now let's compare it with the original part. Offset 0.3 mm. Let's try to install the latch. Everything is OK. Install the second latch. Connect the two holes and check. The battery holds perfectly in the screwdriver. The latches work very well. The flap cabinet door fell. This caused the mounting platforms of both hinges to break. Mounting pads look like this. It is simply driven into the prepared holes. I didn't find a similar part. Inside there is a cone nut like this. A hinge is attached to it. The most difficult thing was to pull out the remains of the broken part. This should be done very carefully. So as not to damage the holes. The holes were saved without much damage. Now you can start modeling. I decided to make some changes to the detail. In this detail I made special struts for a more reliable attachment. Screws will be screwed into them. The principle of operation is the same as that of the dowel. With screws, it looks like this. Two nuts are pressed into the middle. Insert the platform and screw in two small screws. Holds on tight. Printed from PLA plastic. Now I will remove the support and install the second item. This is what it looks like with the hinges already installed. 
Now let's check in the work. The door closes and opens perfectly. One of the switches broke, here in this place. More precisely, this is the rocker that the button is put on. The bottom side is slightly rounded, but I'll make it flat for easy printing. The cradle for a spring-loaded contact. After measuring the part, I started modeling. Here's what happened. The part was printed out. Let's compare it with the original. Some dimensions have been changed, but within acceptable values. The cradle was inserted very tightly. Contact also goes in and out well. First, I will install the rocker in the switch, and then insert the button. Look better. Work very well. Put the second button in place and enjoy the result. The belt's hanger broke. It was installed on the cabinet door. The modeling is very simple. The main thing is to be observe the distance between the holes. This is a finished product. Printed pla plastic. Used a 3D printer JG Aurora A5S. Printed on the side. The model was placed diagonally. Like this. The quality was good. The length of the part is about 40 cm. There is such a construction stapler. The handle broke. The handle is attached to the metal part by two screws. It is not very convenient to unscrew, so I decided to disassemble. Remove the lock washer. I use an old credit card for this. After that, pull out the axis. There is a bushing inside that needs to be pulled out. The axle was inserted into it. Now pull out the handle unhooking the spring from it. Detach the plastic part of the handle. Before modeling I took photos from different angles. It is not necessary to make the handle exactly with the original. The main thing is the side of the seat for the metal part. I used surface modeling to create this model. The photos were used as substrates. Using them I created sketches in different planes. These sketches I used to extrude surfaces using the extrude tool in the surface tabs. Then all the surfaces were stitched together to form a solid body. Then a notch with holes was made and a good view was given with the fillet tool. Here is a handle turned out. Looks great. I print it vertically, but you don't need to do that, especially with ABS plastic. Subsequently, the edge broke off and had to be printed again in a different position, in order to make such a rough surface in the Cura program. There is a special setting for this. Fuzzy skin. Compare the two handles. 
They are very similar. Now I will remove the support and install the handle in place. The place for installing the metal part must have clear geometric dimensions. Therefore, I set special settings for it using the support blocker, namely turned off fuzzy skin. The two parts connected perfectly. Fasten and install the handle in the stapler. First, you need to hook the spring to the protruding tongue. And then insert the handle inside. Install the sleeve in special slots. And combine it with the hole. Then insert the axis. And snap the lock nut. Another thing is fixed. This video ends. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your attention. Good luck. Bye.